if you are a new breeder or if you are an upcoming breeder or you are an OG breeder, a lot of OG breeders know this, but if you're a new breeder, man, doing this will save your newborn litter's life. Just in case you try to pull them too early, I don't have a lot of people that's been pulling their puppies early. Even I've pulled my puppies too early. So doing this will save your puppy's life. I put my foot on the gas, uh, I got one more than that fast, yeah. I keep his what on the dash, uh huh. I keep his what on the dash. What's good, Big Body Bully fam, man? This your boy, Dre, and I'm back with yet another video, man. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, drop a like on this video, and y'all go ahead and drop a comment, man. Leave comments there and let me know what y'all think about my videos. Um, today's video, basically, as you've seen in the beginning, I'm going to be giving y'all a rundown on the reverse progesterone. So I actually have all my own equipment, so I'll be running my own reverse progesterone. We're, we're going to be doing a progesterone on Buttercup. She's currently, like... 63 62 days so she's about she should be about ready to give birth so doing this will save your pups there's a lot of people that take their puppy at 60 days 58 days they'll be ready woody woo listening to the vet the vet really don't know about your dog because if you didn't do the breeding there you didn't do that they really don't know what to tell you you know what i'm saying so they basically gonna go off what you're saying so my first litter with buttercup i lost my whole litter 11 pups you see what I'm saying? So I'm trying to prevent that from happening for anybody else. Um, I had a couple guys I fuck with that um, lost day litter. You know what I'm saying? Because they cut them too early. And I be trying to spit game to people like, don't do this, don't do that. So basically, I'm going to show y'all a way to do it. You can check her temperature, stick the thermometer in the butt, different ways. I guess I'll show y'all how to do both ways today on this video. But uh, we'll be right back with you in the field. Let me set up and I'm going to show y'all exactly what to do. All right, y'all, so a way you can tell is to check the temperature in her butt. So basically, the vet be wanting their temperatures in order to do the C-section between uh, 98.5 on down. That's what my vet tells me, 98.5 on down. So as long as it's steady 98, they will go ahead and cut her open. You know what I'm saying? But it's also, to me, I like waiting until my bitch shows signs that she's ready. You know what I'm saying? Digging and nesting. and But I'm going to show y'all this way. So basically, you want to turn the thermometer it's basically like a basic baby thermometer that you can get from anywhere. You stick it in the butt. Sorry, this is kind of graphic, but yeah. You stick it in the butt and it's gonna run the temperature. So right now, um, I'm gonna let the temperature go up so I'll be able to tell you. So right now she's, it's gonna start beeping when it's um, finished. So she's at 101, so she's not quite ready yet. Um, her temperature will drop down to around, cause I need three AI. So basically it could be, she could have took off any of them three AI. So you know what I'm saying? You gotta be patient, don't rush it. Trust me, don't rush it. Cause me, I rushed my first litter and lost all my pups. Don't rush it, take your time. Let her show her signs. Let her let her know when you're ready. And uh, we'll be back with you. I'm gonna um, start getting into the process of going up in the gloves on, we'll be back with you. So basically, you want to tie her off and you want to get, get her some blood. simple man you want to draw blood it ain't really like once you learn how to do it it's kind of simple but like if you ain't um perfect at it you know just keep working I, I ain't gonna lie when I first learned y'all I was stabbing my dogs up <laughs> you know what I'm saying but as you can see we got the blood um you want to put one milliliter of blood in here basically this is one milliliter of water that way it'll spin evenly on both sides you want to put one milliliter of water and then diagonal from it, you want to put one milliliter of blood. Just like that. One milliliter of blood. Oh, put it right across from it. And then you want to spin it down. And once it finished spinning, we'll be back with you because it takes like at least five minutes to spin. 
So once they finish spinning, we'll come back with y'all and show y'all what, basically what it's gonna do is separate the blood from the plasma. So you wanna use the plasma whenever you run the progesterone test, you wanna use the plasma to run the, um, the progesterone test. So we'll be right back with y'all in a few. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and describe. These are the test strips right here. Each test strip has its own lot number and its own control chip. So basically, you wanna put the control chip in, hit read control chip, each box. So every box got its own control chip. So every, as soon as this box goes, you throw that control chip away. Before anything, I always run a quality control test and make sure my machine is running good. So this is the quality control kit, that uh, chip that comes with the um, bike here. So basically, you wanna put it in. Control the screen, baby. Put it in, hit QC at the top, which is quality control. And then you hit start and it's going to pull it in. It's going to run a quality control check. And I do this before I do anybody's test. So before anybody's test, I run a quality control check to make sure my system is running good. And once it finishes, it's going to come back and it's going to tell you if everything is complete. It'll only take a couple seconds. So as you can see, everything is normal. Everything is running good. Quality control completed. And that's when you put your dog, put this back up, because you always want to keep this. And we'll be back with you in a few. All right, y'all. So look, first thing first, this is what I do before any test. I select serum and plasma. I go to detail information. I put the animal's name in, which is BBB Buttercup. Put the, the uh, female, she's a female. I put the as the doctor, which I'm not a doctor. So, you know what I'm saying? I put um, Big Body Bully Kennel. BBB kennel and I put the date which is April 11, 2022 and I hit yes so all her information is saved so when I get ready to run the test so we're going to check the plasma see how it's looking yes sir as you can see it separated the blood and the plasma you see the clear on the top and the blood at the bottom separated the clear and the plasma so what you want to do is you want to take the detection buffer. This comes in the box of test strips. This is basically what you want to mix the plasma with in order to run a test. Take the detection buffer, open it up. This is what you call the pipette. This is actually the suck up the plasma. So basically you want to open up. There's two clicks to it. So go down one click, you stick it in. You suck up the plasma put it in I always always get like a little bit more just to do it now close it you, you draw that much blood just to get that much plasma in order to do the test it's crazy so take it this is the tornado you want to take it spin it mix basically the tornado basically mixes it together you can do like this to mix it together too but quicker with the tornado than me so I just shake it up Mix it up, then what you want to do is, you want to open up the test strip, slide the test strip out. Now you want to take the serum that you just mixed up with the plasma and the detection buffer. You want to suck it up into the pipette, put it on the test strip. Okay. Okay, so now you're going to see it's going to start going across basically like a pregnancy. You know how the pregnancy test is basically like a pregnancy test. You see how that the like the solution I just put on there is starting to go across. Once you get to that line, you put it in the machine and you run a standard test. It takes 15 minutes for the test. We'll be back with you once the test is complete. And basically, this is what you want to do before you even pull your pups. Ask your vet, can I get a reverse progesterone? You know what I'm saying? Just to be sure, because um, I think they want the dogs between two and a half on down. My bet say two on down. Certain bets say two and a half on down. My bet wanted her numbers to be two and down in order to go ahead and cut her. So you know you're not really taking a chance of losing your pups. You know what I'm saying? Because the last couple days is when the pups' lungs develop the most. So um, like I said, all the fur, the rest of the fur grow on the face, the rest of the fur grow on the paws and stuff. So be patient. Don't rush it. And I learned this from somebody else. So like I said, I appreciate Nick Lacey and them teaching me the reverse progesterone um, method and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's complete. Put it in the machine. Hit start test. 
and it's gonna run a test. It take 15 minutes. We'll be back with the results, and I am um, I'm pretty sure she's not ready yet, but uh, I'm just gonna show y'all what it looks like. Um, hopefully she is ready. Is she ready? You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, that's what I do. You run your, your progesterone test, and don't rush the process, bro. I know you be. I know y'all be eager to. Oh, I want to see what I got in there. That's exactly how I was when I lost my first lid. My very first lid, I lost all my pups. So, and it was crazy. Seven merles, and we had like um, like a platinum color. We had a brand new. Like it was just, I lost my whole first lid, and it was depressing. It made me want to quit. But if you did, if you have lost your first litter and you still working on your second litter, it's it's a double L. Um, and this what Nick Lacey told me. He was like, "It's a double L, Dre." A lesson learned. It's not a loss. It's a lesson learned. So now you come back stronger and you know what to do. So I'm te I'm teaching y'all what it was taught to me. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, shout out Nick Lacey at Lacey Park Kennels and Jeremy, um, Nick and Jeremy. But um, yeah, we're gonna be back to y'all when the test finish. Oh uh, man, look, these are all the tests that I have ran on Buttercup. As you can see, she was an 18, 13, 9, 7, 6, and a 5. So, and the machine, the wand fold machine actually stores, so any progesterone test you done ran on anybody's dogs or anything, it stores it in the system. So you can just type in their name and then like, you see BBB Buttercup and it shows all the tests that I have ran on that dog. Um, so let me tell y'all one thing about the machine. Okay, so she's, her last test I did, she was at a 5.59 on the wand fold, but on the, uh, the, the vet got an IDEX machine. The IDEX machine reads three. It's like three or four points lower than the um, the Wi-Fi machine. So basically, at a five on my machine, they got a different style of machine, and that means she's reading a one on their machine. Like she was literally at a, like a probably a little bit of below a one. I think he told me. So she was below a one, like a point eight nine or something like that. So he told me she was ready for the C-section. So, like I said, I took her in for the C-section. We had the pups. And like I said, man, all the pups doing health, uh, doing good. They got all the fur on their hands, fur on their face. They doing real good. Um, I will show y'all the pups in the next video. But, yeah, man, make sure y'all get a reverse progesterone test before you go cut your dog. Do not cut your dog too early. Do not cut your dog too early, man. Take your time. Let her go through the stage. And, look, man, you're going to have some healthy pups, man. Appreciate y'all for watching this video. Contact me on Instagram, Facebook, all my links is in the description. All right, y'all.